browser to the Fleet Numeric page as above. This is the opening page in the Fleet Numeric weather maps. Each square represents an area of the world, actually the rectangles. There's the South Atlantic. I'm going to move over here to the Eastern Pacific and zoom in. We're going to be looking at the No Gaps model, the NGP. It'll be selected here. We're going to jump up to the Eastern Pacific section. Over on the left, you can see the various options. You can pick out pressures, wind waves, precipitation. We're going to go down here and select the wave watch model. That's the zero hour button right in front of there where the little hand is. We'll select the zero hour wave height picture. This is the Eastern Pacific. Scan out. Look at it for a minute. We'll zoom in here. The darker the color, the higher the wave heights. If you look closely, you can see where 8, 12, 15, 18 feet, 24, 32, up in the very dark red, it's probably 40 feet. Some of the black water down along the California coast is probably 2 to 4 feet. If you look at the little wind barbs, they look like arrows. Right here at the bottom of the screen, they're pointing east, and the winds are typically 15 knots or so. A half a feather is 5 knots. A full feather is 10 knots. I'm going to select the last button on the right. That'll give us the loop. You'll see one after another, all 144 hours, 12 hours apart, in a kind of animation. You can't save the animation like this to a disk file and carry it to another computer. I'll show you a little bit later how to do that. We're going to zoom in here one more time and, and look at the various colors. Remember, the black represents flat water, and the brighter colors represent higher wave heights. And if you look at the arrow, you can see where we're moving up to 15 feet, 18 feet. And of course, the really bright reds are up in the 40 foot uh, uh, or higher range. This is a really good look at the various formats that can be laid out. We're going to go over and look at the all toss, T-A-U-S. That's all times. See the zero? We've already picked that one up. See where the little hand is? It says all toss for wave. That means we're going to pick up all of the wave pictures for 144 hours. They'll be in a straight line. So we can pick those up and use them to put on a memory stick and transfer to another computer. And here we go. Clicking on the button brought up all of the 144 hour presentation. Now we're going to zoom in here a little bit and take a look at the uh, slider bar which is over on the right. And you can see we now have two pictures, 12 hours apart. And we're going to slide down the screen, taking one at a time. You can see them as they go by. And all that can be saved to a memory stick and carried to another computer and, and displayed on the web browser without difficulty.